and welcome to Beginning the Day with God on Monday the 5th of June. Our opening piece of music was My Beloved Spake by Patrick Hawes. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. We come now to our reading this morning, which is from the book of Romans, chapter 4, verses 1 to 12. What then are we to say was gained by Abraham our ancestor according to the flesh? For if Abraham was justified by works, he has something to boast about, but not before God. For what does the scripture say? Abraham believed God and it was reckoned to him as righteousness. Now, to one who works, wages are not reckoned as a gift, but as something due. But to one who, without works, trusts him who justifies the ungodly, such faith is reckoned as righteousness. So also David speaks of the blessedness of those to whom God reckons righteousness, irrespective of works. Blessed are those whose iniquities are forgiven and whose sins are covered. Blessed is the one against whom the Lord will not reckon sin. Is this blessedness then pronounced only on the circumcised or also on the uncircumcised? We say, faith was reckoned to Abraham as righteousness. How then was it reckoned to him? Was it before or after he had been circumcised? It was not after, but before he was circumcised. He received the sign of circumcision as a seal of the righteousness that he had by faith while he was still uncircumcised. The purpose was to make him the ancestor of all who believe without being circumcised and who thus have righteousness reckoned to them. And likewise the ancestor of the circumcised who are not only circumcised, but who also follow the example of the faith that our ancestor Abraham had before he was circumcised. Thanks be to God. And now to this morning's reflection. Faith was reckoned to Abraham as righteousness. What then are we to say? How do we who were rendered speechless respond to God's answer? I suspect I'm prone to responding, yes, but, rather too often, especially with my nearest and dearest. It's an addiction to self-justification. Whatever the issue, my ego says my own reasoning, intentions or excuses should count in the mix. That won't do here, not for me, not for anyone else. Even the first and greatest of the patriarchs, Abraham himself, stands before God on the sole basis of offering nothing of his own achievements. Instead, he entrusts himself utterly to the mercy of God, who freely imputes and gifts his own righteousness. The first and greatest of kings, David, similarly understood that righteousness is reckoned irrespective of works. As for works, so closely linked here to circumcision, theologian John Barclay, in his booklet, Paul and the subversive power of grace explains that Paul is not just objecting to reliance upon those works of the law that, beca that became markers of Jewish identity, of belonging to God's covenant people. 
More astounding to Paul's readers would be his insistence that God's gift of righteousness in Christ is given without any regard to any system by which we, Jew or Gentile, attempt to measure a recipient's worth. Nothing we might measure counts. The only route open to us is to follow the example of the faith that our ancestor Abraham had before he was circumcised. Thanks be to God. And now we join together in praying the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. This is another day, O Lord. I know not what it will bring forth, but make me ready for whatever it may be. If I am to stand up, help me to stand bravely. If I am to sit still, help me to sit quietly. If I am to lie low, help me to do it gallantly. May I know that you are always with me Amen. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. We will not offer to God offerings that cost us nothing. Go in peace and serve the Lord. Let us seek peace and pursue it. Glory be to the God who made us, as to Christ who saved us as to the Holy Spirit, who keeps us in faith, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen.